Hello everyone, here with Chase Reddick, the starting quarterback for the BC football team. Going into your junior season, you were a starter as a true freshman and your numbers did go up last year as well, but probably not where you'd like. I mean, I'm not sure how you'd grade yourself, but what are your personal expectations for this coming year? Uh, hopefully just to keep uh, progressing and, um, you know, the numbers will take care of themselves as long as, you know, I stay in the offense and I think Coach Martin will put us into good plays this year. So. I uh, just got to make sure, you know, we take control, uh, take care of the football and, uh, you know, stay in the offense and, you know, those things will take care of themselves. And I think the numbers will, will be a little different because I think we're in a different offense and uh, even more of an attacking offense. So, like I said, I think the numbers will take care of themselves. You, you talked about Coach Martin. We'll, we'll get to his style in a minute. But in, in your defense, as far as your numbers, this is your fourth offensive coordinator in two and a half years. I mean, yeah. how difficult is that to kind of keep making the transition? Um, you know, it's, it's just another test. And, uh, you know, guys, it's good to have consistency because then you can really indulge in your offense and you can really master it. But um, all offenses are pretty similar, just mm -hmm. with different terminology. So. Um, you know, you're just dissecting plays that you used to have, but with different names now. And I've become pretty good at it just because <laughs> this is uh, my fourth year, so or fourth, a fourth different offensive coordinator. So uh, I just, I'm just trying to embrace it. And you know, being a junior, like you said earlier, I just, the big thing I want to do this off season was help the younger guys and be like another coach out there, be an extension of Coach Martin, so that you know I can help the rest of the guys on the offense because. Being a quarterback and having the prior offense coordinators, it was just easier for me to pick up different offenses. So I'm just trying to help the younger guys out. And, uh, you know, we're getting ready for this weekend. And, you know, I think guys have, you know, embraced the offense. So I think, uh, you know, there's good things to look forward to. Talk about um, Doug's style a little bit. So it's simplified offense. Is he more freedom for you, or do you get to make more decisions on your own? Or? Yeah, it's definitely more freedom for me. Um, would you like? Calls it a one back multiple <laughs> personnel offense, um, <laughs> which is pretty much, you know, like it's kind of like a scat back offense, which is that's even too defined for mm -hmm. common. I don't know, just for people who know in general. For but, us non football people, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, but just the running backs really involved in the game and passing. Uh, so I'm excited, but his style is just a bit more up tempo, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, attack the defense, don't let the defense. Um, you know, attack you and you know, get out of the huddle fast and run plays and you know, if something bad happens, just go to the next play, keep working, keep grinding, keep going to the next play, next play, next play. He really just forces the issue and forces uh, the issue on the defense and you know, tries to stretch them out and so hopefully we can put teams in a bind this year. Let's talk about your O-line, your buds, your guys who are protecting yeah. you. And I know you have to have a special relationship and rumor has it that you might be taking these guys out to dinner sometime uh, soon. Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> now I think listen, this is my question though, Chase. Why do you reward the guys before they actually play in a game with you and protect you? Like you got to do that after work. Hey, I'm, I'm healthy this far, <laughs> this summer. The I mean, summer, I'm, I'm yeah, not, but you're it's going, going against your I'm teammates not live, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not, I mean, maybe some teammates want to come and get me, though. You don't know. Um, on, on the other side of the football, but we'll see how far the Eagle Bucks will take me. <laughs> and, uh, Eagle Bucks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We might, not, we might not be going anymore too nice, but I don't know. Maybe I'll find someone with a girl. We can figure something out for Thursday night, or we'll just, you know, go somewhere in Cleveland Circle and do something like that after we watch film. Now, is that customary? You got to take them out to dinner once a year, twice a year. How does that work? I mean, I think once the first college quarterback did that, every O line loves food. So I mean, <laughs> Yes, they do love food. That's why it could be very expensive for you. Exactly. Um, but I think I have some uh, leftover from the summer uh, from <laughs> dining, so we'll see if I can uh, if I can up with something for them. Finally, let's just talk about the opener. How excited are you guys for the opener, first of all, to not go against your own teammates, and what about it being an ACC rival right off the bat? Yeah, I think last year we had a good opening game. We played really well on offense last year. We just didn't win the game. And I think the guys took it too personally on offense because we played well. We just we just we just didn't score uh, in the red zone. We didn't score touchdowns. We scored field goals. So if we can just substitute that for touchdowns this year, and it being Miami, and you know having some confidence against them, you know just beating them last year, um, I think it'll help us out. And guys are just anxious to get on the field um, and uh, you know play against someone other than ourselves. So I think guys are excited and. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge of being ACC and hopefully we can get, um, you know, have a good weekend and, you know, put us back on the radar a little bit. And also maybe set the tone for the whole season with that opener. Exactly, because I think if we would have won that close game against Northwestern last year, it might have, you know, helped us out down 
you know, the next couple games there. So the first game is really important. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, win or lose, it's one game at a time. But it would be really nice to, you know, win the first game and, you know, hopefully jumpstart us into the season. All right, Chase. Well, thanks for joining us, and good luck on Saturday in the Thank opener you. against Miami and, of course, the rest of the season. All right, thanks.